Welcome everyone to a series I'm going to do. Uh, it's basically recording my progress of making Pong in Minecraft using redstone. Now I've already made one Pong uh, game but it used lots of mods, uh, mostly redstone uh, centered and it was very buggy. So now I think I'm finally going to do it vanilla except one mod which I'll show you later. Anyways, this is part one which is the screen, which may be the hardest part. Now for the screen, I'm going to basically use end gates. Here I have one, a simple one. So if both inputs are on, the output is on as well. Now the punk screen needs to display one pixel at a time, the ball. And for that, I, I need a screen size 16 by 8. That's my resolution. That will be using a vertical end gate which I've designed. Here is the output currently off. Still off, only if both are on, it will be on. It's pretty simple, you can figure out how it works. Because if either of those are not on, uh, this is on basically. And this is off. So first of all, I have uh, what I call a strip of the actual screen. This is basically uh, one pixel by eight, uh, one width, eight height. And basically having 16 of those make up the whole screen. Now I use uh, X and Y coordinates to determine where the ball is. So I need X and Y coordinates to determine where the light will be in the screen. So here we have the strip. These are the Y coordinates and this here is the X coordinate, the width. Now when this is on and one of the uh, y-coordinates are on, a spot will light up. So now we have the x on and the, the highest y on, which means that the top, the most top pixel is lighted up. If I add the lowest x value, now you can see that the bottom pixel is on and if I enable them all let's take a second you will see that the whole thing is lighted up here you can already see all of the lights over here it's all light now how does this work basically the X coordinate travel through the bottom of the end gate it powers the end gate and the repeater sends it again forward if I put like this it won't work I have to put a repeater which will carry on the signal and the Y coordinates are the top part now this is the first the lowest here is the end gate and it travels to the lowest pixel and then I have to scale it up so that's why it's so high so the wires won't interfere now this is modular which means you can duplicate it as many times as you want to make as big of a screen as you want but uh, the height here is 8 pixels so if you want uh, higher than that you'll have to extend it which will go far now this block here is called the glass light mod which basically it's a light bulb uh, which lights up if there is a redstone input right next to it. So now the torch is on, the light is on. If the torch will be off, the light will be off. And I use it just because it looks better than plain redstone torches. Now when I say you can stack it up, here is the end result. This is a 16 by 8 screen, which means 16 different strips uh, stacked together. And you can see it here that it looks very organized, I think, very nice. And here you have the Y coordinates, eight of them. So let's light up 
coordinate number one, two, three. And here you have the x coordinates. Once again, I think it's very organized. Let's uh, it's near the middle. So it works just like I showed you earlier. The same concept. Only 16 of those. One by another. Now if we go to look at the screen, you can see the pixel I chose. It's in the middle. We didn't count it, but one, two, three. Now this might seem like an LCD screen, but actually it's not because I'll show you. If you have two points on the screen which you want to show, let's take the first and last uh, of the X and Y coordinates, you will see that you'll actually get four points on the screen instead of two. And the reason is because I specify an X and Y coordinates and two X and two Y coordinates means that there are four points. Say so I'll have the lowest x coordinate is 0, the same for the y, highest y coordinate is 8, and the, y, the x is 16. So I'll have 0, 0, 0, 8, uh, 16, 0, and 16, 8. So that's why you can only have one point at a time if you want it secluded. But since this is for a pawn game, and this part of the screen is for the ball, I shouldn't really have a problem with it. Anyways, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, post in the comments. And stay tuned for the next part, in which I make the paddles.